Hello all third year students. Today we will see the review of course operating system that is for fifth semester. The course abbreviation is OSY and the course code is 22516. The faculties are Mrs. S. R. Badguzar Madam and myself Mrs. M. P. Bosley. So let us start with the review. The rationale of this course is that you should understand the basic use or purpose of the operating system that is it is a program that controls the execution of application program and act like a interface between application that is use of computer and the hardware of computer it also manages the computer system hardwares that user can use in an efficient manner for example if you want to use the printer you can easily handle the printer using operating system and various application programs this course enables you to learn internal functioning of operating system and will help in identifying appropriate operating systems for a given task. For example, if I said that I want to implement a network, then of course you need operating system which has the capability to communicate with another operating system. Then at that time, we have to focus on the functions of the operating system then the competency of this course is you will manage the operations of operating system in an industry through various teaching learning experiences the objectives are you have to learn various milestones that is generations of operating system then understand the component of operating system and use of system calls then we have to focus on the process and various aspect of process like PCB inter-process communication and context switching then learn about scheduler and implementation of various scheduling algorithms as well as to learn about the deadlock then we have to describe various memory management technique and study various file management technique. The teaching scheme of this course is you have to attend three lectures per week and two are practical per week. The theory examination scheme where you have to write 70 marks paper and the time is three hours then you have to attempt two class test each 20 marks and you have to submit a micro project of 10 marks so 70 marks plus 20 marks plus 10 marks that is out of 100 and then for practical 25 marks are given to the end semester exam and 25 marks are given to the progressive assessment that is total 50 marks so this course is having the weightage 150 marks total the outcomes of this course are install operating system and configure it so you should be able to install any operating system and you should be able to use various features and tools of that operating system then use OS tools and perform various functions execute various processes by using commands and manage various operations then apply scheduling algorithm to calculate turnaround time and average waiting time that means you have to calculate various CPU scheduling criteria then calculate efficiency of different memory management technique and then apply file management technique the first unit is just an overview or introduction to the operating system where we'll see various functions, features, types, characteristics of operating system. Second unit is having services and components of OS where we will see the various components and the system calls to use those components and we will see different tools that are already present in the operating system. In third unit, we will see the various aspect of process 
like what is process what is PCB then multi threading models and then process commands to execute process then unit 4 is scheduling and algorithm where, where we will see what is CPU scheduling what are different algorithms to schedule the CPU and how operating system uses all those algorithms unit 5 focuses on memory management that is both main memory as well as secondary memory and all other types of memory sixth unit focuses on file management that is how operating system stores the file how user can access the file and the red level structure of hard disk this is the specification table for question paper design that is three different levels questions are there remember recall that is recall understand and application so for third year student application level questions are more than other two levels here you can observe that mark distribution is given for each unit and accordingly you can study to score the marks for practical there is there are three practicals for unit 1 2 for unit 2 1 for each 3 4 and 5th unit and more 8 practicals are given for file management so total 16 practical out of one is beyond syllabus that we have to perform here is the assessment scheme for practical that is total marks for each experiment are 50 out of 15 marks are process related 35 marks are product related so for 16 16 practical we have total marks 800 that we have to convert into 25 that is internal 25 marks will be given on the basis of experiment perform and the output taken for micro project you have to submit first proposal by grouping three students only then you have to submit report if the proposal is passed or approved then you have to prepare report and then evaluation sheet to get the marks as you have already done in previous semesters for this semester also you have to do same thing here also the micro project evaluation criteria is same that is six marks are given to the process and product and four marks are given to the individual presentation or viva so for micro project there are 10 marks for course passing criteria you need to score 28 marks minimum out of 70 and 12 marks out of 30 so total 40 marks are necessary out of 100 but depend on different cases these are the books for learning course operating system you can refer anyone and these are the websites from where you will get the study material of this course and this is all about the review of the course happy learning to you thank you all